So maybe you travel a lot for work. You're on the road a lot, or maybe you just, you know, you go on vacation and your gym fitness routine just goes out the window during that time. How do you prevent that from happening? How do you stay fit while traveling? How do you stay fit while on vacation and just not lose sight of all your goals? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's episode. So strap in and get ready for episode 088. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, my name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today, and I'm so glad out of all the podcasts out there, you've taken some time out of your day to check this one out. I greatly appreciate that. I know how valuable your time is. And before we dive into today's episode, I just want to encourage you to head on over to bonestobulk.com. We just recently launched our clothing line. We've got t-shirts, tanks, hoodies, lots of other cool stuff on there that I am so excited to share with you. So head on over to bonesbulk.com, hit the gear tab, and check out all those products. And help support Bones to Bolt. I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, let's dive into today's episode. So I run into a lot of people who, they travel a lot for their work. It seems like it's becoming more and more common. You know, a lot of times out of the year, you have to go on work trips, or maybe you're just traveling a lot for vacation and different trips and going to see family, and that tends to derail your fitness goals. You get out of the gym for a week, and then before you know it, it's been a month, and then you get back at it, and you feel like you're starting from square one again. How do you avoid that happening? How do you stay in shape on the road? Well, it's both difficult and not so difficult, but it takes planning and it takes some thinking things through. So that's what we're going to talk about. So first off, you know, a lot of times it's not realistic to take equipment with you when you travel, right? Maybe, you know, if you're going on a road trip, you can throw some dumbbells in the trunk and have that at least. But if you're flying or anything like that, that's out of the question. So what is a great travel thing you can take with you to where you can still get in a workout and hit all muscle groups? A uh, resistance band. That's right. You can pick up a resistance band on Amazon for 15, 20 bucks. They're not that expensive. You can get them in varying strengths so that you can actually increase with it. And there is so many exercises you can do them with. You can work every single muscle group in your body with resistance bands. You absolutely can. And It's not a pansy workout. There's a lot to resistance band workouts. There really, truly is. And so don't feel like you are trapped through travel because you're not. And, you know, resistance bands, you can step on them. You can wrap them around you to provide resistance. But, man, if you find an anchor, a pole, a garage door railing, a doorknob around a hinge of a door. Like you can do so many different things when you anchor that resistance band. It then turns into pretty much a portable cable machine. And so this is a great way to travel and still get a workout in because I know for me, like if I if I stop working out for a week or more, it's hard to get back at it. And you feel like you, even though you probably haven't, you feel like you've lost a lot of ground. And it just keeps that momentum going. It keeps that training going. So usually whenever I travel, I grab one of these and I throw it in my bag. And even doing things like push-ups, sit-ups, these are things you can do anywhere, anytime, without equipment, and still work your muscles. It doesn't have to be a full blown gym workout for you to get in a good workout. It doesn't. Go on a run, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, do some box jumps, like jump up on a chair and down, whatever you have to do. Find creative ways to still get a workout in, regardless of whether you have a gym accessible or not. Now, let's talk about the nutrition side of when you travel, because this can be difficult. This can be way more difficult than getting a workout in, because let's face it, there's not a ton of healthy options on the road for food. And so this takes a little bit more planning, a little more thinking ahead. For one, maybe you're staying at a hotel. Maybe, you know, whether you're going somewhere else for work or if it's a vacation, try to find a hotel that has a kitchenette. 
You know, usually these have a couple burners, some pots, a microwave, a sink, so you can at least have access to some cooking mechanisms. And grocery stores now deliver anywhere. So you can get on an app ahead of time, order groceries, have them delivered to the hotel so that the day you get to your hotel, your groceries are there and you're ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll. You don't have to eat out every night. You can, you know, prepare some food there and take it with you. If it's just a quick couple day trip, you can, you know, they sell the the backpacks. They have some really awesome bags out now that keep things cool for a very long time. There's some ice packs in there, some meal prep containers and take stuff with you. You know, even if you're going to be eating out, maybe you have business meetings and you can't avoid eating out. You still have snacks. You still have things in between meals that you can really be working on staying healthy with. Take almonds and cashews and pecans with you. Take pumpkin seeds and fruit, bananas and oranges and apples. Take these things with you. They're not going to go bad in a few days and you have them ready accessible to grab when, you know, you're faced with that option of, oh, I'm just going to grab this candy bar or this donut or whatever else that you find in your travels. Like that way you'll have some healthy options. Take those with you. They're lightweight. They're easily transportable. And when you are eating out and when you are sitting down, just kind of look through the menu. I mean, I'm not saying that there's always a healthy option, but there's healthier options. You know, rather than going for the five cheese ravioli with sausage and all kinds of stuff added to it, why not try to find some fish or some chicken with a side of red potatoes and some vegetables? Or rather than going for the the decked out double cheeseburger with fries and that chocolate cake, make a better decision. Go after the the shrimp served over rice with veggies. You can make smart decisions even when you are dining out. It doesn't have to be this, you know, we get in this mindset of, well, I'm going out to eat, so I might as well just, it's going to be crap, so I might as well just eat whatever I want to eat and not even worry about it. No, like still make good decisions. I'm not saying you can never have a cheat meal. That's a totally different thing. Like I have cheat meals, but if you travel a lot and eating out is a regular part of that, then you need to be thinking about healthy ways to eat out. You know, don't go to McDonald's and order a Big Mac, go to Subway and get a wrap. Like there's always healthier options. And yes, maybe they're not the most ideal if you had to pick from everything, but there's still a better option than a lot of stuff out there. And those better decisions are going to add up because let me tell you, when you're eating out every day and if you start eating crap, it doesn't take long for all that junk to add up. Like it adds up quick with eating out. So that's why it's even more important to really be on guard when you're eating out to make healthy options. And so many restaurants now have the lighter, fair, or healthier options that you can choose from that are lower in calories, lower in fat, lower in sugar. Like take a peek at those, try some of those out. Oftentimes they are just as good. Like don't get in the mindset that because something is healthier at a restaurant that it's going to taste terrible. Chances are it's still pretty dang good. You've just got to change the way you think with it. And with that being said, kind of just change your mindset overall with travel because I know it's easy just to get in that mindset of I'm traveling so I'll you know get back on it when I get home I'll get back on the nutrition I'll get back on the workouts and I'll go even harder and try to make up for all the missed workouts and all the crap I ate why do that to yourself why put yourself under that much more stress because mentally you're going to be more fatigued uh, physically you're going to be more drained stick with as much as you can while traveling because there's a lot you can do. Don't get trapped into that mindset of I can't eat healthy. I can't work out because you can, there's always a way around things. There's always a way to better yourself. Even when you are limited, you have to get creative. You have to think outside the box and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we, uh, it's easy to think, well, since I'm not in a gym and have access to every single piece of equipment under the sun, I can't get a workout in. Sure you can. It's easy to think since I don't have access to my kitchen that I can't eat anything healthy. Of course you can. There's always healthier options. Always. So just think a little bit ahead. Plan out your trips. You know, think about what you can do as far as taking snacks, healthy snacks with you, what you can do as far as food prep, and then be smart when you eat out and get a workout in. It's not rocket science. Nothing in fitness is rocket science. It just takes simple habits that you consecutively do over a long period of time. 
All right, so, well, I hope you have found this helpful. If so, please leave us a review on iTunes. We would love to hear your feedback, and that also helps boost this podcast so that other listeners can benefit from it. And if you're on Facebook, please check us out. We have a great group on there. Just search Bones to Bulk, and we'd love to have you a part. We have people from all different stages of the fitness journey in there, and I'd love, love to have you a part of that. With that being said, remember, no matter what anybody has told you, what walls you hit, what things you're coming up against, you can accomplish your fitness goals. You've got this.